Welcome, Action Believers and Spectacular Spidey fans, to the quote-unquote last infectious installment for Radioactive Replay for Spider-Man 2002, which is the big finale of this game, where we're going to take on Green Goblin at the bridge and try and save MJ from his daring hands. And in the last part, we just did all of the incredibly terrifying and traumatizing Oscorp levels, which, uh, yeah, I am so happy I never have to do any of those again, but it's sad to say that we're already at the end of the game. This is a very short game, uh, but like I said in part 7, if you want me to do the Bone Saw special training mission uh, as like an extra part of Radioactive Replay, I'd be more than happy to do that. And also, I have a special little surprise for you guys after the finale comes out of some bonus features of the game, which you guys would hopefully like to see. Um, but anyways, without further ado, we're at the last level, guys. I'm ready. We're taking on Willem Dafoe and trying to save MJ on the bridge. Let's go. Oh, God. At least there's no more scary, terrifying Oscorp robot guards. That's all that matters. What a day. What the? Tough day at the office, huh? Mine is a killer. No! my lovely girl, the better to bait my trap! Get back here, goblin! I'll chase you to the ends of the earth! No, that's Shocker. I'm <clears throat> sorry, that is for Shocker, not Green Goblin. But get back here! Get back with our girl, alright? You don't get to fly away, and I just love how he was hiding there with his incredibly noisy glider in the corner, just waiting for MJ to open the door. Because he broke in through the window, and then he just hid in the corner while floating on his glider. I just find that hilarious. <laughs> Too late. Don't worry, Mary Jane. I'm coming. Woo! Look at him go. We're coming, baby. We got you. Oh, no. With your crazy bombs, goblin. This music is the best. We're not going to lose you, though, even though it seems like we are already. Get back here, goblin. Oh, this music and this chase. Oh, okay. No, I didn't see where I was going. How'd you drop those bombs already, though? If you hurt her, I'll make you suffer. Now you're you really are. No, not more audio Ooh. glitches. Not for the best part now of the game. You really are. No, come on, Toby Ooh. and Norman and Willem Dafoe. You really are. Ouch! You really are getting on my nerves with Ooh. more of these glitches, Toby. Now you're you really are. No, come on, uh, guys. I'm sorry. Now I guess for some reason really it's only are. with the Green Goblin levels that the game glitches like Ooh. this. Um, now you you really are. No, guys, come on. I don't want this witty banter to be glitched now out. You really are. Finally gonna settle. I don't want to be falling behind. I want to catch up to you. Now you really are. Guys, knock it off. I want to actually try and save MJ. Not get left behind. Get back here, you green menace. Now you're getting into the spirit of things. There you go. At least they said. At least he said something right. Look at his fast swinging, boys. Let's go. Get back here with our girl, you green creep, emerald elf. Now you're getting into the spirit of things. Guys, can you just stop glitching with your audio, please? You are an arm right. Break your teeth. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All the audio. All the audio glitches are glitching out all at the same time. That's fantastic. Now you're getting into the spirit. Okay. If at least if, at least, if we get to the bridge, hopefully they. Don't keep now doing this because I'm so sorry that this is happening happen. again. Freeze. I highly apologize. Now but hopefully we can stop it before it's too late. Get back here, you psychopath! No! Oh, there's the best audio glitch with the uh, the high pitched roaring again, which I highly apologize for. No, get back! Woo! Okay. Wow. Yep, that was, um, that was a good conversation. Yep, and the music didn't even play during the section, so that's... Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Um, but yeah, guys, again, very old game. Highly apologize, but there's nothing I can do about it except just go with the flow and uh, just pray that that doesn't happen during this last part. Because if that happens during this last part, I'm going to be so... I'm gonna be a little bit crushed because this la the ending of this game is so satisfying. Like when I remember when I was a kid, um, doing this part uh, and fighting Goblin on top of this bridge or trying to save MJ from the top of the bridge, uh, I loved it and I was like, yes, uh, cinematic action, just like in the movie. Even though he fights Green Goblin in this abandoned warehouse, not in the bridge, 
Uh, even though it's kind of at one point, but still, I love it. Put me down, you jerk! Help! Buy it, girly! Come on, brother. Let's do this! All right, brother. Except I want to save my girlfriend first. Ouch! I remember no not knowing what to do here. I know, MJ. Calm down. It's not like you're gonna be burned alive or anything. Or maybe you will. I just hope that doesn't come to that. Woohoo! It's okay, baby. You're safe. What? No supporting mon No supporting dialogue for us? All right, Green Menace. It's just you and me. Come on. Come on. Let me get on your glider again. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, there may be audio glitches still, but at least there's a good old wallop in the going to serve to his face. I can't talk. I know MJ wants to give him one for you, but come on, I can't. I gotta focus on beating Norman first. Get off your glider, you punk. Yeah! Backseat glider. Or a driver, or one of them. Backseat flyer? Side flyer. One of those. Oh no, now he's on the ground? Oh god, okay. No, no for you. Ow! Oh god! Ow, more of your terrifying moves. Give him a punch for me! Yeah, I will, MJ, don't worry. Unless he starts punching us first. Ah! Bombs! Where'd they come from? Yes! Mr. Osborne. Why? Surprised? Yes, I suppose you would be. But the best surprise is still to come. <laughs> Tell Harry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry too. Mary Jane, there's something I have to tell you. I... I know, Tiger. You don't have to say. Yeah, that's my life. Complicated. Looks like you're done now. Go outside and play. Oh, yay! <laughs> oh, yay! Oh, memories. No, I can't handle them. It's too much goodness. Oh, man. Whew! I'm sorry, I'm just recovering from that. There they are. Okay, for a second I thought the game glitched out again. So we beat the game! Yay! I'm gonna... You cannot not clap for this game, if you know what I mean. Like, it, once you beat this game, you have to give a standing ovation and clap for it. In 2002, these games' graphics were phenomenal. Being a movie tying game, actually being good, was something that was never really seen back in the day. And it was just such a great experience for me as a kid, experiencing this as my very first ever video game in general, and my very first ever Spider-Man game ever. And I owe it all to Treyarch for making my childhood as amazing as it was. And, you know, just a huge thanks to everyone work who had worked on this game, making it that amazing type of, you know, memorable experience for a hardcore Spider-Man fan uh, like myself to enjoy, as well as like a new coming Spider-Man fan, like when I was a kid, like being introduced to this character from this movie and then playing a game that almost perfectly encapsulates the movie was perfect. And I love this little remix at the end. <laughs> uh, but again, guys, highly apologize for the glitches in this part again with Green Goblin and Spider-Man chasing each other throughout the city. I don't know why it does that, um, but hopefully it, you had a fun time watching this replay. I know I had a great time going through this game again, and I'm just in awe. Like, I'm actually like I'm kind of like a little emotional right now because, again, like I haven't played this game in a, in a long time. And I just beat it, so, you know, it's it's a little upsetting to me because this game means so much to me. And seeing how this, you know, going back and looking upon it again, this is a short game, sadly. This is a very short game, 
but it's short but sweet is the best way to put it. Definitely much shorter than Ultimate Spider-Man, so if you guys out there are saying that Ultimate Spider-Man is short, um, no, this game is short. Um, so, bring, speaking of Ultimate Spider-Man, what next? So, we beat this game. We're still playing Friend or Foe. At the time of this recording, um, I'm only at part 7 of Spider-Man Friend or Foe. So, we're still playing that game. And once we beat that, we're going to move on to two other Spider-Man games. So, we have, first off, is Spider-Man 3 on the PS2. Because if you guys know, I did a, a playthrough of Spider-Man 3 on um, PS3. And with... Yay! Josh Keaton is... Uh, Harry Osborn, which when I was a kid, I didn't know that. Michael Beatty as Shocker. Michael, you are Shocker in my eyes. Michael, if you're ever hearing this somewhere in the future, you are Shocker to me. I love you, dude. You're fantastic. And this game is amazing. This game has the best representation of Shocker out of any other Spider-Man game, and it's amazing. But yeah, we have two other games. Well, three, actually, we would have five, but uh, I sadly, you know, like I've said in Radioactive Replay for Friend of Foe, I've lost my copies of um, the PS1 Spider-Man games, so Spider-Man PS1 and Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro. I had them, and then I sadly misplaced them, so I can't find them anymore. Those would be next, but I can't find them. So in the meantime, we're going to be playing Spider-Man 3 on the PS2 and Ultimate Spider-Man. And then for the big finale of Radioactive Replay, it's going to be Spider-Man 2 on the PS2, of course. The game that you've all been wanting me to play ever since we started Radioactive Replay. Um, and the, the, you know, what I'm going to kind of tell you guys right here and now is that the cinematics for spider-man 3 and the ps2 they can't really be used for the intro so what i mean by that is like in every great active replay you always see me do a lot of cool intros because there's like footage of just, just spider-man or a villain doing cool things like action sequences like shocker blasting using his gauntlets or spider-man swinging um on the ps2 version there are specific cutscenes tailored to that version of the game, but there's a lot of them of just talking, of just, like, the characters talking to each other. So the intro wouldn't really look cool of just characters talking now and again. Neversoft, shout out to Neversoft. Neversoft, Activision thanks mom, dad, Neversoft. Uh, because, again, this is, like, a big HD version of the Neversoft PS1 Spider-Man games. Um, and, yeah, you know, uh, like, what I mean, as an exception, Spider-Man 3 on the PS2 might be... Um, a Spider-Man game for Red Active Replay where there are no intros. That might also go sadly for Spider-Man 2. I'm going to try my best, but it's going to be really hard to try and find good cinematic cutscenes to use for an intro. Um, if I can't, hopefully you guys won't be mad at me to make intros for Spider-Man 3 on the PS2, but rest assured there are 100% going to be intros for Ultimate Spider-Man. I guarantee you that. Um, Stan Lee, Steve Ditko, Sam Raimi, Mom and Dad. Oh, uh, oh man. For taking the red pill. <laughs> oh, I love Treyarch, man. Again, they make great games. Uh, and oddly enough, they went on to make, um, you know, the Call of Duty games. Uh, some of the Call of Duty games. But here they made, of course, the original uh, Tobey Maguire tying games. And I love them so much. And that's the game, guys. We beat the game. So, wow. I am... You know, just astounded that the game was as short as it was, and we already beat it. But anyways, thank you so much for sticking around this long time, guys, and it means the world to me. And I would be nothing without you guys giving all the support that you like, sharing, giving a like, sharing the video, um, just deciding to watch. It means everything to me. So thank you. And like I said, I have a special surprise of bonus features for you guys to see in an upcoming video. But also, if you guys want me to do the um, right here, I think the basic combat training i think that's where you fight bone saw and i think if you guys want me to do that uh just let me know in the comments and i'd be more than happy to do that for you or it might be big brawl well, it's one of those it's either basic combat or big brawl i think it's basic combat i forget what big brawl is and also bowling there's bowling of course um so that's really fun there's a lot of cool extras in this game so if you want me to do them let me know um but anyways guys Thank you so much for watching. This was my favorite radioactive replay so far out of all of them. Even though I loved playing Spider-Man 3 and Shattered Dimensions, um, this one has been my favorite. And in the meantime, even though Spider-Man 3 on the PS2 is going to be the next game that we play, like I said, it's kind of hard to make intros for that series. So I present to you the very first intro for Ultimate Spider-Man. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay spectacular, Spidey fans. Peace out.